You cannot do science in isolation. You can't just be the captain, the sole captain of the ship and the sole person on that ship. If you really want to do research at the scale at which we'd like to do things nowadays, you have to work in teams, you have to work with people, you have to be able to bring different sets of expertise. Collaboration is actually the reason that I chose UCLA for my graduate school because the project I'm doing right now could not have happened in any other environment in the country. I love UCLA because it's so interdisciplinary. All the faculty work together and if there's something that you want to study, someone does it or they'll connect you with someone who does. My name is Abigail Blind. I'm a third year doctoral student in the Molecular Toxicology Interdepartmental Program here at UCLA. I am a first year Molecular Toxicology graduate student here at UCLA. We have uh, 29 faculty from 19 different departments in six different schools at UCLA. They're all very close to one another, all within walking distance, and so we're highly interdisciplinary. The research in this program is focused on the mechanisms of toxicology, that is how do agents actually cause disease. We focus particularly on human health, but also we use a multitude of, of model organisms to approach those issues. Worms, flies, fish, uh, bacteria, mice, rats, uh, plenty of different model systems, and the, the topics that we cover are also extremely diverse. We work on air pollution, which is obviously a major issue in uh, California. We also are working on e-cigarettes. We also work, uh, have a large group of us working on pesticides. During your first year, you rotate in three different labs to further explore your research interests, and you don't commit to a lab until the end of your first year. Part of my work is transgenerational. Um, which just means that we expose the parental generation and then see what happens generations down the line that aren't exposed. So this work really has implications with humans because if I can show that not just the exposed generation has effects but also future generations has effects then I think that's something pretty cool. My research is uh, related to the interactions between copper toxicity and a simplified host microbe environment. I use uh, E. coli, a bacterial model for the microbe, and C. elegans for the host modeling. I have a civil engineer on my committee, which may not make a lot of sense, but if I ever have any questions about the environmental implications, I can walk across the Court of Sciences, go to the civil engineering department, and ask her about biotic ligand models, about the research that she's done. So it's a, it's a great way to increase the, the context and the ultimate impact of your research. Students may be concerned about the expense of living in Los Angeles, but we do provide funds for all students. I receive my funding through um, a fellowship that comes through our T32 institutional grant from the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences and that provides uh, funding for my tuition, it provides a stipend for living expenses and it also helps to cover costs for conferences so I'm able to participate in research conferences uh, nationally. I was actually nominated and um, awarded uh, two fellowships. One was Eugene Cotarobles fellowship and that is um, to help promote diversity um, within higher education. I also have the Coder Robles which is a diversity fellowship so that we can have different students that come together from different backgrounds and have different perspectives. My family immigrated here from Mexico and I am the first in my family to uh, complete college and to even think about pursuing a PhD. What is beautiful about toxicology is the fact that you really have your options open. UCLA does a really great job in terms of professional development opportunities and uh, connecting with the alumni that have come through the program as well. There's a variety of seminars and student groups and all kinds of opportunities that allow us to uh, get out of the lab and um, understand public health on a larger level. The students from the Molecular Toxicology program end up in a, in a variety of places. We've been very happy to see them uh, carve their path in uh, governmental agencies. We also have 
graduate students and postdoctoral fellows who ended up going to industry. And then we've been also lucky to see some of the trainees uh, becoming academics. People really work together to advance science and uh, I think it's just a fantastic uh, research environment. What I really love about UCLA is that you're able to say instead of what if, say let's try it. 